Welcome to another instruction video of the DGSA, in which I will explain you the intramuscular electric stimulation. It is a form of trigger point needling and therefore I recommend you to watch the video trigger point needling first. Intramuscular electric stimulation is basically kind of a static needling where you place one or more needle pairs into one or more trigger points and apply a tense current. You can use a common simple tense device such as this one. However, it is essential that it has a sensitive intensity control unit. To connect the device to the needles you need crocodile clamps. The current that has been shown in our experience to be the most effective and at the same time the most tolerable for patients is a 4 Hz current. The goals of trigger point needling are to increase the local energy supply within the trigger point by increasing the blood circulation, to decrease the local concentration of sensitizing substances and to mobilize the taut band and the connective tissue around the taut band. In addition, dry needling can be considered as a form of microsurgery to get rid of contraction knots. Due to the pulsating contractions of the taut band during electric stimulation, it has a strong effect on the connective tissue mobilization. Patients often describe it like a deep massage. In addition, the 4 Hz tense current induces an opioid mediated pain relieving effect. To show you the intramuscular electric stimulation, I choose the gluteus minimus muscle. The first needle is placed into the trigger point and the second needle, if possible, into the same taut band a few centimeters away from the first needle. Now, like for any training technique, you have to locate the taut band and the trigger point first. I recommend to mark the taut band and the respective trigger point. So that is the taut band and that's the trigger point. Because after inserting the first needle you should not repalpate the taut band. Otherwise the already inserted needle may dislocate due to the palpation. Now disinfect the skin where you will insert the needles. Then place the first needle into the trigger point. Be sure to use full metal needles. As mentioned before, place the second needle, if possible, into the same taut band. Remember not to repalpate the taut band. Now attach the two electrodes on the needles. Increase the intensity until the patient starts to feel the pulsation. It should not be painful. The intensity is usually around 2 to 4 milliamperes. Depending on the number of output channels of your TENS device, you can treat several taut bands at once. Remember to palpate and mark them first. To avoid strong post-treatment soreness, the duration of a treatment with intramuscular electric stimulation should not be longer than about 10 minutes on one trigger point. When you finish the treatment, turn off the current before you disconnect the electrodes. Intramuscular electric stimulation is an effective form of dry needling. 
From an intensity perspective, it is in between static and dynamic training. Don't apply intramuscular electric stimulation longer than 10 minutes on one single spot. Keep in mind that this technique can only be applied for muscles that are being needled with a flat grip, unless you are able to hold the pincer grip during a couple of minutes. The usual frequency of treatments with intramuscular electric stimulation on one muscle is about one to two treatments per week. The interval between two treatments should be at least 48 hours. Please don't forget to check the usual contraindications for electrode therapy, such as pacemakers, before using this technique. I'm Christian Gröbli, thanks for your interest and don't forget to check our website.